y'all already know me because I've done the last three interviews, but I am a Josh or God Donkey, depending on a, you know whether I know you very well or not. And this is a uh, guillotine. Is that what that, that's what you want to be go? That's what you want to be called at the moment. Yeah. All right. Well, so where does that name come from? Like, where does it originate from? If it because right. that's your nickname, I imagine, right? Yeah. All right. So one time. I was um, playing CSGO, and I just didn't know what to name myself. And at the time, I didn't even like wanna be a musician or anything. So I was just like, yo, a lot of like rappers just have little in front of their name. So let me just put Lil. And then hmm, what's like a really stupid thing that I could put after that? And I was like, oh, guillotine. And then that's how the name was made. Yeah. See, whenever I hear gu- uh, guillotine, the first thing that comes to my mind is the uh, Death Grips song. You, what, you never heard uh, It Goes by Death Grips? Nah. <laughs> is it fire? I'll listen to it. Oh, dude, it's it's weird. Death Grips is the type of band where it's really, really weird, but once you get into them, you'll never stop listening to them. Like, I think it's, I might have listened to it once, but... Sure. I mean, it's essentially just a homeless guy screaming over a weird beat in his car. Yeah, like yeah, I listened to it before, yeah. That song was good. It, it's acquired, but I mean, it, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, back, off of Death Grips and back on to the interview, uh, so what would you say was um, either one moment or the big moment in your life that really changed everything? Uh, I would definitely have to say 2020, just like that whole year was like just life changing for me and like a big portion of that was because of my friend uh isa aka nerdy otaku like he's a really great friend and he just changed me in such a great way yeah i mean it's always great to have a person around that changes you into a a new type of person that you know is it that that's a positive model for you to kind of go off of yeah definitely so, I assume that you joined Forever Rare through Isa, or is there another story behind that? Yeah, when uh, Forever Rare was uh, originally first like um, being made, it was called uh, Lost Souls, I think. And like me, Isa, Jovener, and Div, and 801 Ray were like the founders. Like we started a group chat on Twitter, and then yeah. Yeah, that's a story that I've heard a couple of times. So, um, what are your current or uh, past roles in Forever Rare at the moment? Like, what do you really do around here? That sounds offensive the way I asked that. But. <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> but, um, so, I do, I'm a musician for it, and I'm also, like, helping with some of the production shows and stuff. And, you know, I like to, like, record videos and stuff, and I also do some of the, um, cover arts like i'm gonna be doing one for nerdy otaku yeah if there's ever one thing in life that i couldn't do it's art and draw (laughs) and draw for sure pretty good at abstract art but that's just because it's colors (laughs) so um do you have any um upcoming projects all right so there's two in mind right now one of them is gonna be ugly and that may be dropping this year and then another one that um i'm going to be making and that i'm definitely going to be making and releasing is an album called 2020 just i don't know when i'm going to release that i definitely want to release that during march because that's like when like the year 2020 really kicked off for me and like i enjoyed it so much so I don't know if I want to drop that like this year, next year. I don't even know. So what happened in uh in 2020 that uh, inspired you to make that? It's like a lot of great stuff, and it was like mainly my friends that like contributed so much. Like I already said, Isa. Uh, you know, I got my first girlfriend. Oh, that's so cringy saying. Uh, it's just so hard right now, but yeah. So I got that, and then I just had like a lot of great friends and nice people and it was just a, an amazing experience you know that 
that's pretty fair. I mean, I'm glad that you could pull something positive out of 2020 when looking at it from a top-down view of the world and looking at it from uh, you know, most people's point of view. 2020 was a really yeah. shit year for most of the world. So, I mean, I'm glad that at least somebody had some enjoyment out of that year. <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of people hate it and give me shit for it. But yeah. I don't see why people would give you shit for having a good time in a year where they didn't. I mean, you figure that if they didn't have a good time that year, they'd be happy that, it, you know, other people did. But, yeah, like, duality of man, I guess. Yeah, no, they're like, oh, that year was terrible. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, bro. Yeah, I just, some people, I guess, don't understand the fact that different people have different lives. <laughs> yeah, and different opinions, oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. So... Going back to your work, uh, what would you, what in your opinion would be the best work that you've ever released, and what, what would be the reasoning behind that? I have this um, song that I did with the Jobner, and it's called Stardust. And like, um, in that song, I don't know. I just feel like I snapped. Oh my god, that, that sounds really cringy, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just felt that I did pretty good, and like I introduced. <laughs> Not to sound like, like, I don't know, just like a freak or crazy or anything, but like I introduced like new quote unquote personas or something. And I know that sounds stupid, but like, yeah. No, I understand. Everybody's got their showman persona and their actual life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, the way I put myself forward as an interviewer, if you knew me in person, you couldn't tell that we were the same person. I'm proper here and I'm an asshole out of here, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that is the uh, the end of my questionnaire. But if you have anything that you'd like to add, just to put on to uh, put onto the end of the interview, you know, get out there into the into the into the waves. Um, now would be a great time to say it. All right, go listen to Nerdy Otaku's new album when it drops. <laughs> all right, that's all I have to say. It's always great to put a shout out at the end of the interview. <laughs> yeah.